This video will quickly go over some of the new features introduced in MT4 Floating Charts version 2.4. The pushback feature allows you to stack charts on top of each other and quickly circulate through them. I currently have several floating charts open and stacked in the same screen area. I can use the PB button to quickly move through the charts in a given screen area. What's happening when I press the PB button is the top chart is moved to the very back bringing the chart behind it forward. To get the most out of this feature you should stack your charts in an area where no other windows overlap. For example, let's say I have Skype open and I stack charts in the same area as Skype. Eventually, Skype will be brought forward when circulating through the charts. One thing I like to do with this feature is organize charts into groups based on their symbols. For example, I can set up a stack of Euro USD, US Yen, Aussie Dollar, and Euro Yen charts on one monitor. Then I can easily circulate through different time frames of each currency pair. The symbol mapping feature allows you to bring forward and restore the undocked charts of a given symbol. Note the current chart layout. Now if I press the symbol mapping button on a Euro USD chart, watch what happens. All Euro USD charts are now appearing on the screen. That's because there was a Euro USD chart in each screen area hidden somewhere and they, that was brought forward. When thinking about your chart layout, please note that if you have multiple charts with the same symbol overlapping, only one of those charts can actually be brought forward in that screen area. You may have noticed that a EURUSD M1 chart was brought forward here, even though I clicked on a EURUSD daily chart. It's because there are two here, so if I click this again, the daily was brought forward. You can do some interesting things with this feature, especially if you have a lot of monitors. This can definitely make chart management easier. Lastly, I'd like to go over the new hotkeys. The hotkey for unflow all is control, alt, backspace. As you can see, all my charts have been redocked into MT4. The hotkey for the float command is control alt z. As you can see, the active chart was undocked. The hotkey to redock a single chart is control alt x. Make sure the chart you want to unfloat is selected. Lastly, the hotkey for the float all command is control alt return. The other changes in version 2.4 were mainly things like new options such as enabling disabling automatic updates. Nothing too exciting. If you want to know more about those changes, please check out the documentation. I decided just to focus on the key features especially since it is difficult to explain the pushback and symbol mapping features in writing. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the new and improved MT4 floating charts. If you're not already an existing user, feel free to try out our free 14-day trial.